I think Halo MCC is leaving a lot of potential on the table. Microsoft and 343 have a ton of incredible content that the modders and the custom uh, players have built that they're just not utilizing. They're not putting it into rotation. They're not adding it into matchmaking. And I think that's a, a shame. They've got sort of a free boost for their players, a free opportunity for easy hype, easy marketing, easy new pushes for players into the game. And they're just kind of sitting on it. So I'm talking specifically about in Steam Workshop, you can subscribe to all sorts of content, cool campaign stuff, great multiplayer maps. For today, I just wanna focus on, let's say the multiplayer side. The map content for CE, even for Halo 3, is getting really good. There's some fantastic maps made. If you don't know, they gave dev tools out with some of these PC releases for MCC for the players to learn and use and create like dev made style maps. Now, the only problem is the only way to play those maps is if you yourself either download them from Nexus or subscribe to them on the Steam Workshop and pull the game up with the anti-cheat disabled. You can play online, you can play these maps with other people, but you're not gonna be able to find them in the custom game browser. These aren't in matchmaking. And that requires so many steps that the only people who are then interacting, playing with these maps are pretty small subsets, people watching these videos. And you've gotta have a pretty diehard group who are willing to invest to do that. Now the community has been asking for a while now, why can't the custom game browser download the required files, a la Counter-Strike, so people can jump into a custom game browser lobby and then just play that custom content as it comes up. If you haven't played Counter-Strike, this is you know a feature that's been around for a long time. I think obviously the main roadblock there is any of that kind of content has to be vetted so the console side of the players can have access to that content. People have been asking for mod support for MCC on the Xbox for a long time now. They look at Bethesda, they say, you know, look how open Xbox has been towards supporting mods here. Why can't we do the same with Halo MCC? And I don't know, I'm not a designer. Obviously, I imagine the risks of like vulnerabilities and issues could come into the mix, but how will they deal with that for Bethesda games? I don't really know. Something I've discovered doing all these Fallout mod videos is the Xbox library of mods, at least available for like Fallout 4, is so much more than Sony's because Sony was so locked down when Bethesda was pitching the idea of mods, they said no, no files from outside the original game itself. So that's why if you go on to like the PS4 or PS5 side for Fallout 4, the mods are extremely limited and usually like gameplay related. They're tweaking files from within the game. It was so bad that like originally I think Bethesda was just going to pull the plug on <laughs> supporting mods on the Sony side. Xbox was much more open with it. So I, I think there's already a good track record here for them to do something similar with Halo MCC. However, if that's too much of a lift, it does seem like resources are spread pretty thin, like everybody's either marching towards this new Halo game or is on life support for Halo Infinite. I don't know what kind of team is left for Halo MCC. The custom game browser support route may not be in the picture, but I've got another idea. One that doesn't necessarily tax the devs all that much either. Look at the great maps that are available in Steam Workshop run flights where people can play and test and then run a survey where people vote on the maps that they like. Essentially have some form of community council guiding the recommendations for what maps make their way into matchmaking. This way you use your player base to test the game. I don't know what kind of resources go into flighting, so if that's too much, whatever, like make it a community-based thing. I'm telling you the scene would be able to run all of this from a Discord and then you let people play test these maps. Issues with spawns, issues with stability, all those things can be found through the community. And the community team can then recommend, hey, these are like the five new Halo 3 maps that need to go into matchmaking for this new update. Even if this was like a quarterly thing, man, that would be huge. Because at the end of the day, your majority of players are never gonna see or experience this kind of content. There's too many barriers. There's too much friction. Getting these maps into matchmaking is the way to go. If any of you played Halo Custom Edition, shout out in the comments down below. I've played so many cool, crazy maps on that game. The community has made so many incredible things. And if these maps were started to be supported, like some of these Halo 3 maps in matchmaking, they started to be seen, I think you'd have an influx, not only of new players, but new modders wanting to create fresh ideas. 
A roadblock that I know people are going to say is, look, there's no ongoing revenue stream, Dragoon, you're shouting into the void, MCC doesn't have microtransactions, Microsoft will never do this. You're probably right. You're probably completely right, which is why I think about the community element of it, trying to put it on, you know, the scene to where we don't have to start fiddling with the idea of further monetization. Like my completely uneducated thought is this, MCC is a paid premium game. They're still selling the game. There are people still buying the game. And I have to imagine if you ran a proposal of what it would look like in contrast with whatever numbers Halo MCC is pulling from new sales, keep it under that threshold because you know something like this gives them free opportunity to talk about new maps coming to Halo MCC. And that brings in new players and you've got community members covering it, talking about it. I think it is a win-win all around. I don't want, I don't want microtransactions. We've been so trained now to be like, well, if they just can't make this endless stream of money from skins, dude, they're not gonna be able to do it. And we forget this is not a free to play game. Halo MCC is a premium title that people purchased. Obviously, I get it. We're at a point now, AAAs aren't gonna move a finger unless it is a huge mountain of revenue. So I I don't know how something like this happens, if it's even realistic to be talking about it here in 2024. I just know I love these original Halo games, and I know a lot of you do too. And it would give a good excuse to come back and try it for a lot of lapsed players. And frankly, the numbers, at least with the Steam chart stuff that we have visible, they haven't fallen off that much. It's tracking pretty closely with Halo Infinite's Steam numbers. That's encouraging to me, especially when the crossplay side on Xbox, and imagine if this game goes to Sony. I, I don't know if in, what is it, two weeks, three weeks? No, it's a little longer than that. June 9th, when the Xbox showcase is, are they going to announce, you know, multi-platform for Halo MCC? If that is the case, there is an argument to be made of renewed support for these games. And ultimately, I can't imagine it requires a huge staff. Now, I'm not a person who knows anything about like stability testing, quality assurance, any of that stuff. So I could be talking completely out my butt, but I, I just wanted to throw this out there. Other games have done things like this. You know, StarCraft II reached its, you know, end of life in terms of like new feature support years ago. And that game has a thriving competitive scene. It's going to continue for probably another decade, at least until like a new big RTS comes around. And so they they made a community council. Granted, that community council is mainly for balance changes of the game moving forward. And it's had some hit or miss, you know, situations. But I look at that and I go, well, why couldn't something similar exist for MCC, like a, a community council where everybody can, you know, vote? And I, I wouldn't gate it off. I think this would be really cool if it could be flighted. It could be one of those things anybody who wants to participate can. But man, if there were like three or four new Halo 3 maps and matchmaking rotation every few months, I would absolutely be on every update, checking it out, talking to friends, saying, hey, let's let's go give these a shot. It won't make me play hundreds and hundreds of hours, but it'll definitely get me back interested in MCC and gives the game a little bit longer of a lifespan. Especially, again, seems like we're in this life support content drought stage. So why not? Why not do something like that? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you again in the next video.